Hello folks, this has gone spy, the spy will come to you live for Star Wars Knights for Republic, the Sith Lords. Now the preparations of the defenses have been complete, as we've recruited as many of the possible people as we could. We've also got the droids set up for the defenses as the added defense of units. We also placed some traps that would be in the area of the west and east side. And we've also got the medical droid to heal up the soldiers in the medical bay. And we also see if there's anything we can do about the turrets. Actually, we're going to have to check on the turrets first, so um... Okay, I think we already got the turrets fixed up uh, because of the terminal inside of the of the estate. So what we need to do right now is to uh, talk to Saron for the begin the preparations for the Battle of Dautuin. The people of Dautuin have suffered enough by the bombardment that Malakat did to this planet. And to the Jedi Academy, and to the Jedi Academy here, we cannot fail against uh, in this defense. No matter what, I was right about you. You are in trouble. Mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize. I've done some of the things around Kunandaden to be able to help out with its defenses. That's good to hear. Fill me in on the details when you're ready to finalize our battle plans. I've cleared out the Kenrev uh, cave. It's something I've been wanting to tell you about. So you did. Here's the credits I told you about. Even with the caves cleared, I imagine it'll take some time before the Kenrev aren't on the planes. That was very helpful of you. Save some lives today. The mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize. Do you have time to do what you need? Or are you ready to finalize the defense plans? I've done all I can to finalize the defenses of Kunda, the droids, the recruitment, the turrets, and the traps. We are ready. Are you sure? Once we're done with that, there may not be any time left before the mercenaries attack. I'm certain uh, that oh, I've done all I can. All we can do now is pray and hope, and rely on our skills and tactics. Alright, then we got a lot to do. And we have more time to do it. As you are here to bolster Kunda's defense, I will hurry to the mercenary camp and delay their assault however I can. Alright, Frog, good luck. That's not going to happen. So what's the plan? The administrator's locked up their office tight, which means that the mercs have to go through us and Kunza's defenses. Thanks to you, they're going to have a tougher job. That's about it. So we just need to dig in and wait for the mercs to go. Have you talked with the men? Well, I'll tell them what's there to do. I'm not much for words. I think they're going to need some encouragement after everything and about what's about to happen. Maybe I could speak to them. I've already prepared for your morale speech. All right, I'll assemble the men. I hope you can speak good. You can bet your ass that I will.
It's time to remind them of their friends and family that are counting on them. Men. People of the good women and men of Kunda, of Tatooine. What we're about to do is dangerous, but important. Important for friends and for our families and for their families and their own friends. Enemies want to take everything that is worth taking from you. And we have to give it our all to be able to fight against this enemy, against this threat. This plan has been through worse, so the mercenaries will not be uh, taking anything from you. So look around you. That is what we are fighting for. Each of us uh, had to back up one and the other. We can win this if we work as a team. This plan has been through wars by Malik's bombardment and the Jedi Civil War, but you managed to strive. Even when you lost people in the bombardment, you were able to stand because your fire still burns. Even when you lost a lover or a family member or even a friend in the war, your fire still burns. And it will continue to burn, even now, against the mercenaries. And to remind them of what these people, what we've always been fighting for. It's time to remind the enemy and to teach them of what freedom means. Birds are working. more of them. Alright, it looks like they've gone through the, the first line of defense. want to fight, throw away or down your weapons. Is that supposed to convince me, Jedi? I was trained by the Sith. My unit killed many Jedi. I'll give you one last chance. Leave the administrator to her fate. I will not allow you to kill her. Why do you want her dead so badly? She's inconvenient and doesn't have the chain of command. She will pay for that. She has uh, strive uh, to inspire people when they lost, uh, when the Malak bombardment uh, that you serve uh, destroyed most of what's on Dantooine and the people was in despair, but she was able to give them hope. I will not allow you to take away that hope. Then you've allied with these flaming settlers. The galaxy doesn't tolerate weakness. I was trained at Malak's academy. Your tricks won't work on me. You're just another dead Jedi to me. Sorry I was held up, but it looks like I've arrived in time to pull you out of your predicament. Kill them all. The scars of war that you have brought here. That reminds me of Darth Malak. And now... I'm not surprised that you're even here as well, Dobak. Oh, 
I'll use the Bellamentation I inherited for Bastalum. See that you do, but Jedi, I was only happy to help even though that I was considered an outcast by the other Jedi. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this reward will be sufficient. Please keep the credits and use them to rebuild Kunda, this planet, and its people. It's been through enough already. I am humbled by your generosity. I will put this to good use. Now, if you will excuse me, I have much work to do. Don Tarim will be slow to rebuild, but I am confident now that we will one day achieve prosperity. I hope for that to be true as well in the story. Kunda is safe and no small part of the I feel certain that the administrator wouldn't have made it without your assistance. In any case, I am free to talk about whatever you wish. Good, because I got a lot of questions for you. I amend with Atreus. She has told me of why, of what exactly has been going on. And I've been informed by my new teacher of what's been going on in the galaxy. But there's one thing I need to ask. There's a lot of things to ask, ask me. But I'll begin with the most topic of beginning of more important questions. Where in the hell of all the Jedi? There are a few of us left, but I do not even know if the others still live. We may be the last. We have been forced to divide our forces and retreat to places which will be difficult for our enemies to detect and attack. Where are the where are these je other Jedi left? Where are they go? Why would they hide? We have chosen to hide our presences from each other. So that the discovery of one will not endanger the others. But how can you be able to contact each other? How do you be able to speak to each other about how you plan to attack the Sith? We cannot. We have resolved not to until we have found where the Sith are striking from. But even as our numbers thin, there is still no trace of them. We had hoped to outmaneuver them by letting them believe themselves victorious. We thought they would become bold and step from the shadows. And what then? Then, all of us who remained vowed to meet here on Dantooine. From here, we can plan a course of action and carry the battle to them. But so far, they remain in hiding, and Jedi continue to vanish and die. Then I want to talk about something else. You have more questions for me? What happened to the Jedi? How is the Sith able to find the Jedi? We are at war, but it is unlike any war we have fought before. We have yet to even meet our attackers in battle. Somehow our enemy is targeting us through the Force, striking, then retreating to the shadows. The gathering of any Jedi force? seems to attract them like a beacon. So it was necessary to divide our forces and conceal ourselves for a time until we could learn more of this threat. Then if that's the case, then why did you come to Dantooine? Places of suffering all leave wounds on the galaxy and in the force. In such places, the deaths of so many echo. So much so that it is difficult to center oneself. By coming here, those echoes serve to mask my presence, allowing me to investigate the ruins and try to find some clues as to who our attackers are. But if you can mask your presence here, couldn't the other Jedi be able to do the same? The mirror the world of Qatar taught us a terrible lesson. Many Jedi gathered there 
in an attempt to use the Force to find the location of the enemy. Now that planet is no more. Master Zahar, Master Dorak. Zahar? And many more Dorak? There They're gone? And we do not know why or how. But all life on the planet ceased to exist. And I was not on Qatar when it was destroyed, but now that it is dead, it has left its echo. Like Dantooine. It was after Qatar that the few of us left realized that wherever we gathered, we were placing others in danger, not just Jedi. Why did you come to Dantooine then? Great tragedies in such places. By coming here, though, you have more questions for me? What exactly happened to the Jedi? We are at war. Somehow, our the gathering of any. Is this why the Jedi are not gathered together? Like on Qatar. How did you know of Qatar? She knew it was one of the gathering worlds for the Jedi. But yes, Qatar was one such place. Now that planet is no more. Master Zahar, Master Dorak, and many more perished there. And we do not know why or how. I was not on Qatar when it was destroyed, but it was after Qatar that the few of us left realized that wherever we gathered, we were placing others in danger, not just Jedi. I've learned about Qatar because one of my companions, who is a Mariluka Jedi, has became a Sith after the destruction of her homeworld. This enemy and this leader of the Sith that we're facing seems to be responsible for what happened. I do not know his name, but I intended to find him. But I still have more questions I want you to answer. You have more questions for me? Why exactly are you, Fook, and the other Jedi are in hiding? We were not in hiding, despite what you believe. This threat is striking through the Force. There's a reason that we cannot detect it. It is somehow masking its presence from us. How is that even possible? How is it even capable of striking through the Force? I never heard of such a thing before. There are techniques in the Force that hide one's presence and thoughts from other Force users. But I do not believe that such techniques alone would be capable of hiding the enemies we face. It does not seem possible. So why are you even here? Jedi sanctuaries, places of learning, conclaves, many of them secret have been attacked. That requires that our enemy knew of our whereabouts or had access to records and holocrons from the Enclave here on Dantony. The Holocrons? How would they have access? There was much Jedi teaching buried here before the planet was attacked. In the hands of our enemies, such knowledge could be used to track and kill Jedi, find other Enclaves, gather places. And so much has been plundered from the air that now many secrets of the Jedi have been spread throughout the galaxy. So I did what I could, attempting to let myself be captured. I hope that it would lead me to the Sith and the stolen artifacts. Did you find any presence of the Sith on Dantooine? Was the capture worth it? The Sith attacked this place once, and only they would seek the death of the Jedi with such obsession, oh, and okay. be able to be as successful as they have. With the destruction of Dantooine, it is difficult to sense the presence of any Force users here. If any Sith are here, I can then I want to talk about something else then. You have more questions for me? I need to know why exactly you and the other Jedi Masters of the Order cast me out of the Order. I know about the records. Because you defied the Council and followed Revan to war. And from that war came another. Do you know how many worlds were destroyed in those wars? Dantooine, Telos, Sirocco. Do you see now why we counseled caution instead of action? You were the only one to come back and face judgment. But that was because you had lost your connection with the Force. Another casualty. No doubt you still blame us for your exile. I had hoped your isolation would give you time to reflect on what had happened, what you had done. But I see it has not. Do you have more questions for me? I've been given a lot of thought and been isolated from the world and look where this is brought upon. I was not even aware of the rumors of the Jedi going extinct, much less of the threat we are facing. The Sith have revealed themselves. Why did you cut me off from the Force? 
That is something I've been wanting to know. Is the reason why I came back to see Judgment. Why yeah, I was caught off on the Force. I know about the records. I know about the secret. Then you and the Order talked about. We did nothing to you. Accuse us if you will, but it will not change the truth. Cutting one off from the Force. Such punishments are reserved for only a few. Although it was within our power, we did not inflict such a loss upon you. Your loss was a casualty of war. No more. Then what exactly happened to me? Perhaps that is a question you should ask yourself. It is not something I could help you, even if I wanted to. But recently, I was able to reestablish my connection to the Force back on Paragus, and it's growing stronger with each passing minute as I regain connection more to the Force. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such for you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. You have more questions for me? Do you know anything about Force Bonds? And how to end them? I'm asking because I've recently developed a Force Bond with a new teacher. Force Bonds? Is the bond that grows between master and student. Are you saying you bonded with another? Yes, but in Paragus, when we, when I first encountered the Sith after the Mandalorian Wars, the connection was lethal. I need to learn how to cut it off so it wouldn't have to kill both me and my teacher. Such bonds normally grant strength to both, not to such a degree. Are you certain? Perhaps it is merely what you believe. Still, your ability to form such connections, to influence others, was always a subject of discussion, even when you were a student here. Perhaps it is a punishment of a sort. But a bond that ties two lives together, such bonds do not seem natural to me. And with your loss of connection to the Force, it seems such a connection would be impossible. But I did reestablish my connection to the Force. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such for you. Still, you and your... It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. You have more questions for me? The Sith. As I already mentioned before, the Sith have indeed revealed themselves. I know that you have got yourself captured in order to draw the Sith out, but I've encountered them back on Paragus. They have revealed themselves. Have they? I've seen no evidence of them on Dantooine. Only murderers and raiders. They exist. They've already attacked me since Paragus, and they've been trying to hunt me and my friends uh, down uh, in the cross space since Paragus and Telos. Why would they attack you? You are no Jedi. You cannot feel the Force. They attacked me? I do not know. I reestablished my connection to the Force. You may not uh, feel it, but I do feel the Force. I do not know why the Sith attacked me. They seem to believe that I am to be the last of the Jedi. I've learned this much from my teacher. For some reason, I believe you. Still, I am curious as to how they would know to find you. Your trial was not public knowledge. Regardless, these Sith have struck and you survived. This is more knowledge than I had before. And that means the Jedi may gather. If you can find others or find some trace of the Sith threat, we shall gather here on Benton, and from there we may decide what can be done. Do you have more questions for me? You don't need to tell me what I already know. I've met with Atreus back on Telos. And she and I develop an idea, a plan of a truce, so that we, that I'd be, find another Jedi Masters and gather them here, so that we may be able to stop the Sith from causing more death and chaos on the galaxy. 
And then, at the same time, if possible, I'll be able to learn about how the Sith is striking through the Force. And maybe I can, as some other Jedi Masters I come across the world, so could be able to tell me on how to cut the lethal of the Force Bonds. But for now, Afrog, I'm going to be gone now. And I'm glad you still live after all these years. I was worried about you after this place was bombarded. You, Tsar, Dorak, and Master Fandar. I suppose there's something I should show you. It will keep you alive long enough to prove you. Now watch and learn. This form is a tower. Because it is such an aggressive fighting style, you should arm it against single opponents. And don't try using this form amidst heavy fire. Nothing is more embarrassing for a Jedi than to be cut down by a stray blaster shot. All right. I don't know how you learned that so quickly. Still, your form is sloppy. Keep practicing to tighten it up and you'll be fine. A tall room. It only works with a single opponent. It's good. Alright, it looks like we have done all we can for Dead Wayne. I'm gonna be given a double lightsaber. That's good. Yeah, I'm sh and I welcome to the day that you will, uh, Saron. And um, uh, I'm sorry about what Baron and I have done. I'm sure it was for the good reasons, as come with tough choices. I know that much from experience. This is a great deal of information that it seems to me that Froga couldn't be able to discover about the Sith. Mm -hmm. But at least that he believes my word. Even after all these years. Alright. May you run hell for eternity, Oscar. Along with your dead master. <sighs> All right, so let's get back to the oven hog. I think I can make some quick stops uh, at a dead old lady with the Jedi artifacts. Still need to get some limbs. Understand folks intentions of wanting to get captured but unfortunately it looks like he couldn't be able to do any much good on his end but we made better progress responsible for driving the mercenaries off the drug. that's good Dantooine was getting too crowded for my taste I still got some Jedi junk left to sell you buying yep um for some reason I can't if you're not going to listen they're now dead fool like to do the decent thing, get their bodies, put them to rest. That hole isn't a fit place for a salvager. So, if you find a couple human corpses down there, just grab their gear and their bodies. I'll pay you 500 credits for each of them. I've been here a lot. Sometimes I... You should have let me know you're a customer. Ah, good. I was worried for a second. Hmm. 
All right. Now, let's head back to the Evan Hawk, where we are going to be able to discuss uh, what we of our findings. All right, so Vrug is going, has uh, came back here because of what Malik had done to the place and of his name, some ghost of that, of the good, and some of the people, including the Jedi that he knew, that were killed by the bombardment. And at the same time, he came here to, to seek out and come out with a plan and to wanted to trick the Sith into come out in hiding. But obviously that didn't work, hoping to draw the Sif out. Luckily, he was able to believe us and our word when we encountered the Sif. Alright. I'm going to need to put a stop here for now, folks. I'm glad that you guys are going to be able to come in to watch this video. I think, I think it is pretty memorable of a video that I've done here so far in this career. So uh, stay tuned to after these messages for more Jedi, for more Star Wars Nuts for Republic the Sith Lord series. This has gone by the spy sign off for now.